The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Bo Dallas, weighing in at 244 pounds, Von Dango. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up and ready to go. A win here would do wonders for this guy's career. And his opponent, accompanied by Dash Wilder, representing the Ultimate Maniacs from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has been delivering his own brand of justice since arriving in WWE in 2012. Yeah, Rollins said he came here to right the wrongs going on in WWE. And I'd say he's doing a pretty good job. Man, I can't wait to see these two square off in one-on-one. -on -one. Based on the electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. Oh, man. Better have medical personnel on standby. I got a feeling we're going to need them. We're in for a good one tonight. Well, regardless, we're underway and rolling on another great WWE event. Well, let's get your thoughts here on Fandango. Now that he has a manager guiding the way, I can't help but wonder how far he can go. We're going to find out a lot here tonight. Head to head, no excuses. Let's get it on. Whether you like his moves or not, Fandango has the attitude and ability to defeat whoever he targets in WWE. Right on the bridge of the nose. Fandango's fancy footwork doesn't just make him an elite ballroom dancer. He's smooth in the ring with a mean streak a mile long. Fandango's training has given him an amazing level of agility, balance, and control that can see him fly off the top rope and rub his opponent's face in the mat. He took too much time, and boy, did he pay the price. Oh, man, from the high rent district. I wouldn't know what that's like. Hey, one more time, just in case you missed it. Fandango brings his unmatched precision and grace with him to the squared circle. His abilities enable him to anticipate what's going to happen in the ring and quickly move to launch his own attack. Don't let Fandango's lavish ensembles fool you. He's aggressive, resilient, and destructive. Yeah, you know, the thing about Fandango, Michael, is that if he heard you say those things, he would thank you for the compliment. The only thing that might be greater than Fandango's love of self is the enjoyment he receives from punishing his opponents. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. Oh, my. He's wild in there. Takes to the air. Wow. This should do it right there. I think this thing's over. One, two, three. The match is over. That's all she wrote. Here's your winner, Seth Rollins! What an incredible match. That one could have gone either way. No.
Carmilla! Dana Brooke! Tamina! The Viking, Randy Martin! Alicia Fox! Alexa Bliss! Up next, we have six of the biggest names in WWE set to do battle. Prime time! We have a team led by one of our breakout talents versus Team Carmella. I am really looking forward to this battle. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from St. Louis, Missouri, the Viking, Randy Martin. Mark my words, when the bell rings, this is going to be an all-out war. Well, what are we waiting for? Ring that bell, let's see it start. Two battle-tested teams of three set to go at it here tonight. Anytime you have six of the best WWE superstars in the ring, you know history is going to be made. And no exception here tonight. This could be a classic. Look out, Sacramento. This one's going to be intense.
We're moments from writing another page in the WWE history books with this six-man matchup. Are you serious, Cole? You think this could be historic? You only get one chance to make a good first impression when this entrance is doing just that. From Cleveland, Ohio, Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke making her way to the ring. Well, it's certainly clear that the Sacramento crowd is excited for this one. family and friends and tell them about this six-man matchup. And here we go with this three-on-three -three tag team matchup. Yeah. Well, it's three against three. You hardly get a chance to catch your breath. A six-man match. Nothing more exciting than all of WWE. But no matter what we say outside the ring, it doesn't matter as much as what happens inside that ring. Well, that rocked her all right. You're right about that. She don't know where she's at right now. Carmella is making her presence known. Carmella, she's really going to town right now. Going to the well again. Perhaps looking to take the action to the outside here. Perhaps. What's happening, Cole? Right before your very eyes. Oh, she's back in now. Adding insult to potential injury there. She's taking on some heat. She's going to have to make sure this doesn't get out of hand. <laughs> Look at these divas go. Neither one of them are backing down. Well, I can't argue that point, John. And neither one of these women has really taken control of this match. This out, Kenny. She found something and she's sticking with it. Can you blame her? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hitting your opponent with a move like that makes it obvious she's trying to belittle her opponent. Yeah, she's trying to add insult to injury. The arm is taking some real damage. For some competitors, part of their strategy is to demean their opponent. That, a move like that says it all. Yeah, you're just trying to embarrass somebody now. That's the first time she's executed that move. She's experimenting. I like that. I love when a diva experiments. Executed perfectly. Back now inside the ring. Shoulders down, is it enough? This may be it. And that's a shot that could drop a grizzly. Play my game. 
Graves. Yeah, a little intimidation there. Wow, she's showing something different here tonight. Three. Well, she wants this win bad. Going all the way up. Ooh, that's a long way up. Oh, a cardinal mistake there. And she's not taking any prisoners in this one. No, she's on a mission here. Great reversal. Look at the attack here. Oh, man. Talk about a direct hit. She looks unbeatable tonight. And Carmella anticipates it. She's going out with a face now. And that's the tag to Dana Brooke. I'm not sure if she knows what planet she's on after that. She's looking completely worn out right now. This six-man match may have taken it all out of her. You're right, Michael. And I thought this match was hers after she went for her finisher earlier. Agreed. And I think she's still in shock that her finisher didn't end this thing earlier. Back between the ropes. Dana Brooke able to get out of the way. Good night. She's going to need to dig down deep if she wants to keep going now. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. You don't see that move every day. Look, Michael, she's looking at me. Don't act like you're not impressed. We're looking at complete domination here. There goes Dana Brooke getting in her opponent's head. She's good at that, Cole. This Dana Brooke is as good as they come. And strong as well. I love a woman that shows passion. And there's the tag, Tamina into the ring. with that move. You don't want to get in this diva's way. Oh, check that out. We have a first here this evening. And that was awesome. Well, that was some reversal by Tamina. That stop might have only lasted a second, but it's going to be felt tomorrow. That may be felt for a lifetime. She's putting the entire Divas roster on notice here. Oh, this isn't good. And she drops like a sack of potatoes. She appears to be extra slow regaining her base. Up the turnbuckle goes Tamina. Oh, no. Here we go. Tamina sees it. What a reversal. And will this be it? It may be. There's the pinfall and the victory. to be happy with that win. You can bet there are divas in the...
Van Sisley, Z, Wyatt, Dickey. Up next, we'll see two teams who are on a collision course, and it's happening right here. We have Team Eric Rowan in a match that will be etched in the record books. I can't wait. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE World Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers first. The WWE Universe is on their feet in anticipation for this tag match. And you can bet the Universe will show their appreciation if this is a good one. These teams looking to make a mark here in the tag team division. We're just moments from the start of this tag team match. Yeah, let's don't wait any longer. The crowd is ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Well, you can tell by the walk. The challenger is ready for this one. This tag match really does have a big fight feel and everyone in attendance 
feels it too. I feel it. Or that could be the tacos I had for lunch. Monumental stakes here as the title will be on the line here in this one. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 532 pounds, Eric Rowan and Diego. And introducing the champions at a combined weight of 850 pounds, they are the World Tag Team Champions. Van Sisley, Z, Wyatt, Dickey, and Daniel Bryan, the Rock and Roll Express. So much anticipation, and it all comes down to this. move every day. <laughs> Expanding the repertoire with that move. <laughs> He's putting those educated feet to good use. He hits a sweet combination. Challenger starting to falter. But not for a second do I expect him to back down now. Let's take a moment to talk about the champion. As we know, here in the WWE, a manager is commonplace. And in that tradition, he seems to have taken a liking to someone's services. As you know, we're talking about someone with a lot of talent. I'm not so sure I like the idea of it being showcased in a tag team. You gotta let talent like that shine on its own. I think that's it. He's done. Uh-oh, there's the finisher. This might be over, and I mean all over. The toll from this match is really starting to show, and this type of match is pure chaos. It's good they have two shoulders, because they'll need to look over both of them in this one. I'll tell you, I don't know if we'll see it here today, but you know that anytime Daniel Bryan enters the ring, his favorite finishing move, the yes lock, is right there in his back pocket. He's displaying classic offense here. Yeah, that's when he's the most dangerous. Absolutely exhausted in there. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. You said it, Michael. This is absolutely not where he wants to be. Oh, man. He really needs to find a way to battle back from this. Otherwise, this one's over. Well, if we do see the yes lock from Daniel Bryan, we're not going to see it for long because as brutal a hold as it is, once it's applied, the tap out comes almost immediately. He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. There it is. Well done. And then you're going here. Nice takedown again. A tight hold here. Does he have enough left to fight out? 